just you know, a couple things. Number one is to get as fresh as possible, um, mind, body, and spirit. Get get those in, in the right spot, and and then just to make sure we understand our plan um, for this in terms of the game plan for the week. Sean, when you look at it now, you, you guys are five and two. I was thinking about the first day of training camp, and you had talked. To, you sounded like a lot of other coaches did at the time. You know, with, with the words that you used, process and camaraderie and all this other stuff. But you've been able to get through to your team. How have you? been able to do that taking so little time? Uh, you know, i got a good staff. I've um, got good coaches. Um, we've got, you know, good players on this team in terms of uh, guys that through the scouting process and that Brandon Bean and, and his staff have brought in that they've got the DNA that we're looking for and that, that makes my job a whole lot easier. Uh, when you have good people, uh, good people in the building to help and support me, um, goes a long way towards towards what we've been able to do um, to this point. Uh, you know, I, I just again I keep keep going back to um, you know just they're good people and uh, you know these are guys that are winners um, and they've come from places some some have been here some have come from other places and that's the part of when you're building a team that's the neat part about it to watch these guys come together you watch the sideline uh, yesterday after Brandon Tate's uh, catch and run and uh, what a neat thing, uh, you know, gives me, you know, just chills just going back and thinking about that. We shared, <clears throat> we shared that in the team meeting a few minutes ago and, and uh, 20 years uh, or so around the NFL, I just, I don't know that I've ever seen that type of uh, deal on the sideline, you know. 